Am I the asshole for using my husband's money to pay for my daughter's Apple iPhone that he broke? My daughter is 16. She had her old phone for 5 years and always wanted a new phone. I'm the only one working right now since my husband decided to take a break from work after he inherited some money from his dad. I saw that she did pretty good at school despite having mental health issues that had gotten in the way of her focus before and so I decided to keep her encouraged and reward her by getting her an Apple iPhone that cost a good sum of money. I did my best to save money to buy it. I literally skipped paying for breakfast at work to be able to afford it, and my husband didn't want to help so I was on my own. I bought her the iPhone and quite honestly, I haven't seen her this happy in a while. It was refreshing for me because she really went through some hard time in the past couple of years emotionally and mentally. My husband wasn't happy with this he said the iPhone will only distract her from school and chores but that wasn't true, in fact it encouraged her to do more. But he still said I shouldn't have spent that kind of money on an iPhone that she might be irresponsible with and break. My daughter picked up on his attitude towards the iPhone but I told her to ignore him. Days ago, I found out that he broke the iPhone. I asked why and he said he asked her to get him something from the toolbox in the garage but she was on the iPhone and ignored him. He used this incident as evidence that the iPhone was bad influence but I yelled at him and demanded he replace it. He said he wouldn't so I took money out of his account and paid for a new iPhone and gave it to my daughter. He saw what I did and went off on me calling me vicious and awful and accused me of stealing his father's money and demanded the money I took, every single penny back. I basically told him it won't happen. He got his mother on me saying I'm setting a terrible example for my daughter by getting her a phone paid for with money that I stole from her dad. My husband said he won't speak a word to me till I fix this but I already said I owe him nothing. Am I the asshole for this? ETA. No, he's her biological father, not stepdad. And price for the iPhone where I live is a thousand dollars and it's not cheap. Finding out that I took a thousand dollars out of his inheritance really got him so furious that he said I was the worst woman he met in his life. He had two ex-wives if this is in any way relevant. He took it back later then said he won't speak till the money is back. Sounds like you need to save up for a divorce. Not the asshole, making him pay for an item he deliberately broke, especially when he knew how hard you saved to buy it, is perfectly acceptable. Extremely concerning facts. 1. Felt it was acceptable for him to break a valuable possession of your daughter's as punishment. 2. That he felt running to enlist aid from his mother in berating you is a good idea. 3. Thinks the silent treatment is an acceptable form of punishment. This really needs to be dealt with, and you absolutely need to make sure your daughter is not being treated badly as part of your relationship problems. Get couples counseling immediately or reassess the marriage, but don't let your daughter get put in the middle. Your husband is abusive and this is way beyond this sub. You need help of this is how he responds. Not the asshole, but stay safe and think about past incidents. Is this normal for him? If so, does this seem healthy for you or your children? Use these answers to guide you. Personally, I would be out the door. Info. What steps are you taking to prevent your daughter from these displays of violence? Breaking stuff is one of the first signs of domestic abuse. NTA for making him pay it back, but someone who breaks your kid's stuff shouldn't be around her. Why should your daughter get something for your husband from his toolbox? Does he think that commands respect and authority? She's his daughter, not a Labrador retriever. Not the asshole for advocating for your daughter but you might have to look into your husband's toxic relationship dynamic with his daughter and support her. Edit. I'm not insulting Labrador retrievers. I was owned by one for almost 16 years and if I asked him to fetch tools from the toolbox he would give me a look that said, go fuck yourself. Not the asshole how long until it goes from hitting her phone to hitting her. Also does he even provide to your household in any way if he's not working and the money from his grandfather is only his? Oh not the asshole, fuck this guy and his mother. If my, broke ass, partner broke my child's iPhone for ignoring him once, I'd file for divorce then and there. Not the asshole. Your husband broke your daughter's phone, called you a thief and has his mom harassing you. What is he contributing to the household during his time off? Why is his grandfather's money only his money? Am I the asshole for telling my husband his name suggestion for our unborn baby is idiotic at best? Hello all. This has caused quite a stir on both sides of the family, and my niece suggested I post this here so as to garner unbiased opinions. Unfortunately, as it is relevant to the story, I will have to keep much personal information uncensored in this story. As such, this is a throwaway account. My, 35F, husband, 37M, 
and I are pregnant with our first child. We are overjoyed, as we have struggled with perceived infertility and miscarriages for the last decade. We want the gender to be a surprise, but may have to find out to settle this. I'm currently at the tail end of my second trimester. Now, my husband absolutely idolized his grandpa, who, unfortunately, passed away last week. My husband is devastated, especially about the notion that his children will never meet their great-grandpa who their father adored so much. As such, my husband has suggested that we name the baby after grandpa. Theodore if it's a boy, Theodora if it's a girl. Either way, we will either call them Teddy, or Theo, Thea respectively. It's not that I mind the name, the issue is that our last name is Bounde, pronounced Bundy. I asked my husband, do you really see no issue in naming our kid Teddy Bounde? You don't think that would raise any questions? He says no, he's just honoring his grandpa. I told him he needs to think about how we will be perceived, how our child will be treated, and the implications that that name inherently carries. I literally had to spell out why that would be a horrible idea, and he still thinks I just hate his grandpa. I told him no, grandpa was named in 1930 when the name Teddy Bounde wouldn't have been a problem. However, since certain events in the 70s and 80s, there's no feasible way we can give this name to our kid and not cause issues. He kept pushing and pushing until I blew up and told him to stop with the idiotic suggestion, and that's what it is. Idiotic at best, sociopathic at worst. He got extremely upset and told his family and my parents, who are divided. His family is obviously on his side and wants to honor grandpa via naming the baby after him. My parents are torn but on my side, as they understand the social pariah we would make our child by giving them such a similar name to the person who did such abhorrent and downright evil things to so many women. I mean, personally I don't think anyone is just going to assume that we are honoring a past loved one. They're just going to think of Ted Bundy. Am I the asshole? Edit. Edit just to say that you guys are all proving my point that Ted Bundy is clearly still an infamous name. There has not been one comment that didn't immediately make the correlation upon hearing my last name. That is exactly what I don't want to have happened to my child. Kids are dicks, and they're gonna find a way to be mean. Let's not just hand them the material. Edit 2. Bundy's full name was Theodore Bundy. That's where this problem is ultimately stemming from. When a teacher reads the name from the role, be it Theodore or Theodora, they aren't going to assume a nickname, it's just gonna be the full thing. Not the asshole please do not name your kid, in effect, Ted Bundy. Literally ignore everybody encouraging you to name your kid Ted Bundy. Not the asshole. I have a friend who has a very similar name to a well-known serial killer. He has to wind up basically apologizing for his name wherever he goes, even though he has absolutely no relation to the guy. It's pretty sad. There are many ways you can honor your husband's grandfather without giving the baby such an unfortunate name. Not the asshole. If your last name is Dahmer, you'd probably stay away from Jeffrey. I share the name of a famous athlete, in the state he played college ball. I was eight when he became famous, so I wasn't named after him, just coincidence. It comes with its own issues, nothing too bad, outside of people thinking I'm him, finding my address by typing my name into Google, then they stop by my house, it's happened twice. I couldn't imagine having to share a name with a serial killer. Not the asshole. Even if the name wasn't bad, in this way, it takes two yes for a baby's name. 2. Even if you simply didn't like the name, your no means no. How many people did it take to make the baby? 2. How many people will it take to raise this baby? 2. How many people get to decide on the name? 2. 1. No equals no. Not the asshole. Why does he love his grandpa more than his own child? I have bad news for your husband. Grandpa is dead and won't know the difference. The kid will. Don't let him do it. Not the asshole. Did Gramps have a middle name? Not the asshole. I was wondering why there was a problem until you said your last name. My mouth dropped open. You cannot name your kid after a serial killer. If you do, make sure to call him Theo or something. Not Ted. If it's a girl, Thea should be fine. Not the asshole the kid is going to get bullied. Did you change your last name to his last name? Because a compromise would be to give the kid your last name. Am I the asshole for letting my fiancé fend for himself after he constantly compared me to his mom? My fiancé had a heart attack and required an open heart surgery two weeks ago. He just got home few days ago and I am caring for him. A little backstory. His mom and I don't have a good relationship. Since the beginning of my relationship to my fiancé, 
His mom would constantly try to compete with me and one-up me on everything. She always claimed she should be the first woman in my fiancé's life because she birthed and raised him and how I can't break their bond. For the most part those comments were unprovoked and at first I would be too scared to defend myself but later I stood up for myself and my fiancé stood up for me and established some boundaries with his mom. His mom sometimes crosses some of those boundaries but for the most part she's been acting a bit better. During his stay in the hospital both I and his mom took turns staying with him. Ever since we got home I am the one caring for him 24-7. And I don't mind, I love him and I want him to get better. But I got extremely upset because after we got home he was being ungrateful about everything. He started comparing me to his mom. He started saying his mom would do X thing better and why can't I do it like his mom since that's how he likes it. He gives backhanded compliments to the foods I make and says, it's good but not like my mom's. He sometimes also snaps at me because I won't do something quick enough or properly enough and he will tell me words like, I wish my mom was here. She wouldn't be so useless. Just tell her to come here if you can't do these basic tasks. I was patient with him because I didn't want to upset him during his recovery. What made me lose my mind and leave the house was when he told me that his mom was probably right when she said she should be the first woman in his life, since she'd care about him better than I do and how it was a mistake establishing boundaries with her and that I was the one he should have established boundaries with. After this comment I didn't think twice, I just packed two clothes on my handbag, and left and went to stay at my cousin's house. He called me and said I'm an asshole for leaving him home alone while he's recovering and that I should have at least called his mom first so she'd come. I told him he should call her and it's none of my business anymore. My parents told me I was out of line leaving him to fend for himself and that he's right that I should have called his mom first and how I'm the asshole for making this about me when my fiancé's recovery should be my priority. Not the asshole. Go back. Pack the rest of your stuff and leave him for good. He's showing his true colors. A mama's boy will always be a mama's boy, and you'll always come second. Not the asshole. Also, run. Call off the wedding. He can marry his mom since he doesn't get the difference between wife and mother. If he can call you he can call his mom. Not the asshole seriously re-evaluate this relationship. Location flag 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 location flag. Not the asshole don't marry him. He will never truly be your partner, he just wants another mommy, whom he could have called. Not the asshole. As someone who dated someone like this who I'm pretty sure would have moved back inside her if it was an option, I can tell you that this is not going to get better. This woman will always take priority, and you will always be their third wheel. Girl run. We need an acronym category for, everybody is an asshole here except op, of course you're not the asshole. But, you're with a mama's boy. Pro tip. Never do this to yourself and never assume it gets better. Not the asshole. This sounds like a case of emotional incest. Run while you can.